Hey there, it's Rob Knight, and um, I just recently posted a review of the Olympus 100 to 400 millimeter f5 to 6.3 lens, and uh, one of the biggest uh, responses I got about that lens was about image stabilization and how that worked on that particular lens, especially. Um, the uh, 100 to 400 does have a sort of a dual IS that it works. Uh, the image stabilizer in the lens works with the stabilizer in the body, but it's not as effective as the top of the line Pro Sync IS that Olympus uses on something like this uh, 12 to 100 millimeter lens and the 300 millimeter F4 Pro. So I wanted to show you exactly what IS does, and I'm going to compare uh, with IS, without IS on uh, the Olympus EM1X uh, that I have in my hand. I've got the 12 to 100, I've got the um, 300 millimeter F4 Pro, and I've got the 100 to 400 F5 to 6.3. So hopefully I'll be able to illustrate the difference. Let's talk about image stabilization. I'm using the 12 to 100 millimeter F4 Pro Olympus lens, and the, I, the image stabilization switch, the IS switch on the lens, actually turns off the stabilizer in the body and the lens at the same time. Uh, this system in particular, uh, this combination uses Olympus's Sync IS. So this is a five axis stabilization that allows for seven and a half stops of stabilization uh, when it's turned on. So I'm gonna turn it off and I'm gonna illustrate what this, what this looks like through the lens. So you can see at 12 millimeters, I'm getting a 24 millimeter effective focal length. And it's not that big a deal. You can probably see a little bit of movement as I breathe and just as my heart beats, but with a wider angle, it's not that big a deal, right? Uh, image stabilization is not, it's hardly even an issue at uh, wider angles unless you're talking about really slow shutter speeds. So I'm gonna close the lens down to the 25 millimeter setting. This would be about 50 millimeters on a full frame camera. And I'm gonna show you now, uh, it's a little bit, maybe a little bit more jiggly. You're gonna find that the more I zoom in, the more uh, any little movement in my body is gonna come through the camera, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out to the 50 millimeter setting, which would be 100 millimeters on a full frame camera. I'm gonna refocus, and again, now you're starting to see a little bit more movement. You're starting to see as I talk, for example, I'm gonna just be quiet for a second. Even then, I can see through the viewfinder as I'm breathing, my heart's beating, I'm moving a little bit. I'm not a stable platform, right? So now I'm gonna zoom all the way out to 100 millimeters. That gives me a 200 millimeter field of view in a full frame camera. And I'm gonna focus and try to hold the camera as still as possible. Now you can see any little bit of movement is highlighted at this zoom range. Okay, and this is only 100 millimeters on this lens. So imagine when we get out to 300 millimeters, when we get out to 400 millimeters, right? So now I'm gonna do the same thing, and I'm gonna turn on the image stabilizer. So now I've activated a stabilizer in the lens and in the camera. So at 12 millimeters, you're probably not gonna see a whole lot of difference. At 25 millimeters, not a whole lot of difference, but it is, it is rock solid and still. At 50 millimeters, Again, now we start to see a little shake. No, we don't. Stabilizer works beautifully. And at 100 millimeters, I'm gonna focus here. And you can even see, you can see the movement until I hold the shutter release halfway down. And you can see the camera start to smooth all that out. So you can see that that image stabilizer really makes a huge difference. Right, um, especially when you get into the longer focal lengths, and um, you know, with this 12 to 100 millimeter f/4 Pro lens, on the wider end, you almost don't need the image stabilization, but it sure is nice to have it. If you get in a situation where you're in low light, you're already opened up to f/4. Your uh, ISO is as high as you want it to go. It's 3200, it's 6400, and you still want to get that shot. You can shoot it half a second with this image stabilization, and it works just fine. So now I'm going to get my long lenses on and show you a little bit more about how to hold those and, uh, and how to take advantage of that image stabilization. Okay, I've got the 100 to 400 f5 to 6.3 lens on my EM1X now. And, uh, and I'm going to show you just how effective the image stabilization is with a lens like this. So I have the stabilizer turned off on the lens and I have the stabilization turned off in the body. So this is just a straight 100 to 400 millimeter lens. 
and let's look through and see how sturdy I can hold it. So at 100 millimeters, it's not terrible, right? It's pretty bad. You can see a lot of movement, but it's not the worst thing ever. And if I'm using a faster shutter speed, I can probably just shoot through that, okay? So I'm gonna go out to 200 millimeters. Now at this range with no stabilization and just me holding the camera as still as I can hold it, even if I hold my breath, I cannot get it dead still hand holding. So now I'm at 400 millimeters effective focal length. This is a pretty long way, right? Um, let me go ahead and zoom out to 400 and I'll show you. And one thing I'm gonna do at this range uh, with the camera with a, either a battery grip or like the EM1X with a built-in grip, I'm actually going to rest the bottom of the grip onto my collarbone here, okay? Now, if you shoot with your left eye, you can do this. I actually learned this from Joe McNally, um, and it works really well for holding the camera still when you might not be able to otherwise. But again, I'm going to rest the camera on my collarbone like this, and then I'm going to tuck my face right into it and just get as small as I can and as tight as I can. And that's as still as I can hold it at 400 millimeters. Now keep in mind, we're talking about 800 millimeter effective focal length, right? So now I'm gonna turn on the, the image stabilization in the lens and we'll see what that does. I'm just gonna keep it at 400 millimeters so you can see the difference. Okay, so when I press the shutter release, that's the stabilization in the lens only. It's a little bit jerky as, as I move, it's a little bit jerky, right? But it holds the image nice and still, okay? So now I've turned on the stabilization in the body as well. So with the 100 to 400, the, uh, the lens is gonna handle two axis of the stabilization and the stabilizer in the body is gonna handle the roll, okay? So we'll see if that's how much better or worse or different that is. Pretty darn good. It looks about the same as just having the image stabilization in the lens, actually. Very effective uh, at that 400 millimeter range. I don't have any issues with that. Now I'm going to try to turn off the stabilizer in the lens and just use the in-body stabilization, see if we can see a difference there. I get my image focused. Now I think you can see that it is effective, but it's not as effective as using a stabilized lens with the stabilization in the body. I believe when you get out into these long telephoto ranges, you get beyond just the regular, um, just what the body stabilization can handle. You really need to stabilize that lens as well. So it, when it's stabilized at both ends, even though it's not technically uh, as good stabilization as the Olympus Sync IS in the 300 millimeter F4 Pro, it's still very effective with uh, both the lens and the body stabilization turned on. Now I'm going to grab the F4 Pro and you can see what the difference between that and uh, Sync IS. Okay, now I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really think it's fair to compare almost any lens to the 300 millimeter F4 Pro Olympus lens. With or without the teleconverters, this is probably the sharpest lens I've ever used. And the image stabilization, the Sync IS uh, implemented on this 300 millimeter F4 Pro is like nothing I've ever seen before. When I say I have pictures with this lens with the two times teleconverter, so 1200 millimeter effective focal length at a tenth of a second, I mean, I'm not exaggerating. Tack sharp shots at ridiculously slow shutter speeds. So when I'm shooting at those incredibly low shutter speeds, again, I'm gonna support the bottom of the lens, right? I'm operating the lens with my right hand. I'm holding the camera with my left hand. I've got my tripod collar up off on my two o'clock spot there. I'm going to set the bottom of the battery grip section of the EM1X against my collarbone. I'm going to keep my elbows in. I'm going to be nice and small. I'm going to lean the camera on my head. I'm holding everything just as still as I can do it, right? I'm going to think like a tripod, but I'm going to show you through the lens what this uh, stabilization looks like uh, and just how effective it is. Okay, so there's no stabilizer. This is just me with the focus locked, and now I hit the shutter release, and it just locks down still. Very little movement. That's even when I'm talking, it's hardly moving at all. 
Um, even I'm, I can feel myself swaying a little bit, just in the normal motion of standing here. Very little movement at all. So again, there's with the stabilizer turned off. And that's with it turned on. So again, it's not really a fair comparison to a non-pro telephoto lens. Uh, the Sync IS in the 300 millimeter F4 Pro and the 12 to 100 F4 Pro on the EM1X body, on the EM1 Mark III body. I'm not sure about the Mark II, but I believe so. Um, it's, it really is second to none. Um, and uh, I hope this helps maybe seeing through the lens of these cameras, maybe you can get an idea of what the image stabilizer actually does. Um, if you use a tripod all the time, you really don't need that. So many of us now are not using a tripod all the time. I know uh, some of my Olympus colleagues, we, they'll have contests and they're holding, hand holding four second exposures with the 12 to 100 uh, on the EM1X and the EM1 Mark III bodies with the Sync IS uh, happening. The um, uh, upcoming lenses that have Sync IS are, are the ones that I'm looking the most forward to because those make my life easier as a, as a photographer who travels, right? Um, that's just one less thing that I have to carry, right? Um, so if you have any questions, any comments, I know I had a lot of comments about the 100 to 400 and the image stabilization and how it worked. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and uh, shoot me an email at rob at robnightphotography.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.